One person towards lane. They're trying to go and focus on him with the multi peak, but it's not working out. They forced SP to the back of sight. Ja still kept alive. Darion takes out Flippy. And now it's the Tamer, who is vulnerable, but is still trying to cause damage. He is going to be able to deliver a couple of bullets, but not to the head, it seems. Three versus four. The retake needs to come through. And my god, the amount of spams that's coming through with those ghosts. Absolutely, but look at the fragment locking things down. But Aziz with a pain shell getting that pick. It's going to be so crucial, but still a 2 3 retake. They need to go in. Of course, Spike is not planted yet, but they still need to regain the control and delay the plant as much as possible. But do they win? Do they go in? JH isn't going to miss that one. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? Jay has been so consistent with finding these crucial kills that he's a player you can depend upon and a player that you would absolutely want to have on your team. Oh boy, well, we've got you. one last man standing that is pro, and he spots out one head, gets it. He's looking for the crazy guy, he's pretty darn low, so he's got to be careful here, but no. Of course, uh, they, they have faith in the amount of hours they put in the game, mm -hmm. so I, I think both the ways are good enough, but personally, I'd, I'd still go for an SMG round. There, look at the amount of control SBE have gotten towards that B main tech. They've taken that one player there as well. So the KO is actually lurking towards mid. And if he goes a little bit further, he might just find the two players on short as well. And he gets a free kill. There it is. Poppy Chulo finds that kill. As everybody from Bleed has been split and dissected. Only kill that comes through is from Scary. But he's got about 28 seconds left to try and work out a miracle. What he doesn't know is that Aziz... Pretty up close and personal, right up on top of this. They're, they're still in a combining position, right? Uh, doesn't matter if they lost the, the round or not. But Ooh, and Aziz in the meantime. Down, Let me take that back. No, they're not in a commanding position. They've lost two players. And uh, South of Esports forcing their will upon their opposition. But Darion finding that pick so crucial, right? But the Prowler is going to delay him as much as he can. And Ja once again trying to find the pick will not be able to connect that shot. It's a difficult shot to hit as well, but Darion isn't going to miss those. Oh! Okay, Darion, he's getting the ball running as he finds three, and he's running into the B side. He's got it completely cleaned up for himself, but oh, there comes the tail. Oh my god, the presence of mind. There is a tail coming as well. Try and find him. Two bullets, Darion. You might want to reload. I know you love your flashy. Okay, you flashy little fella. Takes him out with just the two bullets, and he's on for the ace now. Go on, get it. The person is coming close to you. Amazing games. But it is good. And talking about amazing games, this could turn out to be one if Aziz is able to get a kill here. That grenade will isolate a couple of fights, but he's blinded, so he cannot capitalize upon it. He does in the end, though. Flippy's there to support him. JH will only get the one, and they push that smoke and get punished. SPE, that one grenade kind of, you know, completely threw them off the guard. The retake as much as possible if they manage, if they can manage to find it. The side, but of course, yeah, we go. They want to go in. The, the zero point being used as well, along with the cosmic divide. The flash shot being popped in. Flippy, can he can he pull this off though? That is a question. He is in a good position. Needs to find the first one. Manages to get none because Pro was there to back him up and get these two kills. Bleed Esports did try their best, but it didn't work out. So the tactical timeout that Bleed, ha uh, sorry, that South Pole Esports had. What's gonna happen? I'll wait and find out, but the Prowler going in, along with the Nebula being popped. Shot doesn't miss those. He will not miss those. Red with a quick re refrag, but it won't matter because Ja is still waiting. He nails a third. He could possibly go in for a quad kill as well, but nope, there. he can't do that. Scary will shut him down. Oh, there comes the showstopper, and out he goes. And he doesn't get the kill. He came a little too far away. And crazy guy sprays down two in the third as well. It is from, it is from the defense. defense. Yeah. It's the B side being hit again. Time is off. Yes, as they get the kill. And they need to plant down. And it will go down. And JS gets it. But Ja, standing strong on the back of the side, will be good only for one. Cypher brings out the hat of information. Yeah, the neural theft, uh, neural theft coming in, but... The nightfall pushing them back, right? And I feel I feel like Pro had a bit of a misplay over there. Got spotted. Could not make anything of that position. Crazy guy picking up the, picking up the operator. Misses that shot. You don't see crazy guy missing shots with scoped weapons, but it, it is still a 2 2. A 2 2 retake coming in. A 0 point going in. Doesn't matter. The problem is Red Light is barely clear. Area now going to challenge the operator. He's going to try and find him and isolate him, but no. His problem is the fact that he's going to get dry peaked. And Ja gets that kill. Crazy guy might have taken out one towards mid. And Ja is heading to the back of side of heaven, rather, to find the rotation coming through. And what they don't do, Bleed, is check their corners. And that's going to cost them as Pro takes down two more. 
That might cost him a lot more than just two players going down to her speed. That might cost him the round itself. And Ja getting one revenge, more. But it Top is a problematic situation because they've got their information now. The initiator has fallen. Both the initiators have fallen. As now, they're not going to take their corners. And JH will spray down both of players entering the side. Flippy. Oh, left all alone. 1v5. What can you hope for? A miracle. That's the only hope. A miracle 1v5. That's no. all you know for the flippy. We'll peek around the corner. We'll by running down, down towards this B main as well. That knife is going to be problematic because it's not detect anybody. It's going to be a trade in the form of J Edge going down to pro towards that A short position. But what he doesn't know is a red last here as well. And this cypher is not as passive as you think he is. He's a really sneaky guy running into smokes and finding kills, making his team feel a little bit more comfortable as SB right now are heading back towards the same place they lost their first couple of players. Oh well, yeah, but now they're, they want to... Oh, oh, look at that grab! Oh, still got a lot more in the bag where that came from. It's still SB on an eco, so... Not gonna be too much of an issue, but Happy Tulo somehow been allowed to crawl into towards short, and that has cost Bleed a lot. They've got two players against them who are pretty darn low. It is... Pro and... Yeah, Jaws actually fallen. Never mind. As Flippy just flipped the shot onto Scary's head, and now it's onto Retla. He's alone on the A side, but he might just be enough to do this job. Never mind, says Aziz, as he takes him. Too much time. The problem is he's already been spotted. Doesn't have a lot of information to work with. But he knows where he is. He could take him down in a wall, but barely, just barely missing him. But the C is going in. This could be a problem. He wants to in the left. wall, and we'll quickly call in for a rotation because he's heard the chamber towards mid. Can you find the pick of that is a question? He will peek around the corner, almost being taken down over there. Now he has his own nightfall to work with. Has the haunt here as well. Does he have any information? He does. He finds one player towards B min, and he knows exactly what, what's up. 13 seconds on the clock. There's only so much they can do to fall back, but that is not going to happen. Papi Chulo being taken out. Darion coming in clutch with the operator, and they don't have enough time. They simply do not have enough time. They could have come into the side, but no, Got they decided to fall back. And, and he will be ready to throw towards short. That's actually going to give so much value. It detects two players. And now Darion's ready for this. Gets a hint of information, but doesn't connect to his first shot. Will connect the second, though. As now JH in this Cypher cage needs to stay alive. Four versus four. Four versus three. Four versus two. Four versus one. And Bleed just keep throwing down numbers. That shouldn't be happening. Four force being taken all in the equation. Now what do the attack do? Crazy guy once oh. again going in. The gravity well, it's all throwing him off. But it doesn't matter, still 3v3. There you are, still waiting with the operator. Of course, with the allowing them to walk in. He has the blaze storm available as well. Does he use it though? That is a question. Probably expecting somebody towards mid. But Aziz will get taken down. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Now they have so much information, so much control to work with. He might as well just pull out the blade storm and go in and create the space that he seen so desperately needs. Last drive. Ooh, one more Cosmic Divide coming in. The Flash are being primed up and not being able to go in. That is unfortunate. Oh, the sun coming in. Can you find the pick? That is a question. Wait, can you not see him? Doesn't matter. They'll win the round. They'll win the map. And Blade Esports, so damn dominant. Everybody with the spike oh, is running in towards the A side slowly but surely. And uh, SB, they need to be careful about this. They've spotted out one. It'd be oh my god, what a shot from Darion. And that was an incredible shot, but Bleed getting those two first picks might just be the difference in, in, in South Pilt Esports being able to win the first round or not, but Darion once again being so aggressive. He knows, he knows what's up, and he can fall back as well. Has the rendezvous available, but can he find the pick on, on shot? That is a question. The flash right coming in, but he will fall back. Gets blind and did not have force the issue over there, but... We'll be fighting them head on first to make sure that they don't go for these post plan positions. Well, 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 he will get taken down. The Papi Chulo isn't going to miss that one. And reducing it to a 2 a 3 Now, Scary has to be on point in terms of getting that pick. But is he going to get spotted? Are they going to expect him? Or yes, indeed, they will. They will check the angle, but doesn't matter. Scary finds one. But Crazy Guy, once again, reducing it to a 1v2. Sorry, 1v1. Has a Prowler available along with that. He has one more. And sees to add to that. But he will peek around the corner. Oh, yeah. What? Now, what in the world is that shot? Darion gets uh, deleted. Off the server and South Pole Esports finally with the man in one just going their way, but you know, you know what? Let's just add on to that. Poppy Chulo with the sheriff once again, getting that opening, and it's always oh been these pistols, God. these what? damned pistols.
hasn't it bleed he's hurt 30 seconds left jayet is going straight in for it as the flash will protect him from the other side but not from flippy taking a red lap he's in a 1v4 he's being hounded by every single corner he can possibly think of pichulo is covering up from sewers there's only about so much time left on him to survive as, as all of them are going in towards art a is going to be heavily inflicted All come on, coming into the play over here. That could be the difference between them winning or losing the arm. But crazy guy, once again, with this perfect positioning, will get that pick. And the Wiper is bit guaranteeing, practically guaranteeing that run. But no! There you are, will get taken down. But scary, scary with a quick trade. Once again, the trading has been on point for Bleed Esports. He cut off that A sight from one angle. As we've got Pro holding on towards mid. He will die. As his teammate will cover up for him. No, as he's actually finds two, but Red Light instantly turns back. Three versus three, still kept alive by the defense. They almost slipped in. As Flippy, he's got no stars left. He smokes off A main. And now he's got to fight with his aim. Does do they expect this, though, is the question. Because Jai is still in that smoke towards A main. He pops out. He will give his life up. Red Light, so aware of his surroundings. Bobby Chulo in a 1v2 now. He's got a flash. Redla will be affected by it, will be taken down, but he keep them at bay long enough. They, had, they do have the orbital strike available bleed, uh, which they could use, but scary. Oh my goodness, this is so unfortunate. Flippy gets taken down over there, and now they've decided to suddenly go towards B, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. They've been exploiting mid, getting those picks, and then deciding where to go. They know there's only going to be one player, or maybe two at max, if they do decide to, but they had information to work with. Oh, oh my goodness, Bobby Chulo, what? From him towards the B side, where they've detected the KO. And they realize that this could be potential point to run in. And look at that. There's an ultimate. The fade ultimate goes through. And they're actually all rotating. This is amazing from Bleed. The fake being sold so well. Only Aziz to hold on to say sight. And now that one kill could probably change up the game here. Out comes the showstopper. But he doesn't know where these players are. Crazy guys found one. Scary will take him down towards Art. And oh my god, Bleed. What is this amazing, weirdly crazy stat coming in from you? Sports. There we go. They have the spike down. They do have the post line utility available with them. Orbital strike as well. Fresh it is. Can carry on. Find this pick. Oh, almost being taken down over there, but still finds a fade away pick on a razor. Z is being taken down, and that orbital strike sealing the deal, sealing their opponent's fate, not allowing them to go for the retake incendiary as well to delay them as much as possible in case they do decide to come in. But that's not going to happen. Pro will get taken out and bleed walk, walking away with one more round for themselves. Along with the team to get that information. And that's exactly why those fakes are being sold so well. That's why they were sold the fake last time. No, Blade J H almost lost his life there too due to the uh, Astro pull. But no, his teammates got him covered up even though he's lost his life. The player will go down. Retla, make sure of it. As crazy guy coming on the lurk again! Finding value! And he's keeping Papi Chula busy! His teammates are going up to find that kill, and they will. They will trade him off, and it's a 1v3 now where Ja is left to wonder what the hell just happened towards Art. Now it goes. Bleed. So Recon as well, but this time, are they being sold by it again? Yes, they are. They're going to rotate away, and they will lose the player on A as well. Oh my god, Bleed. Stop it. This is just disgusting gameplay. Don't get in my way. It's not just disgusting. It's just Bleed on bullying their opposition into submission and it's been working out for them the way they've been playing around once again you see this wipers pit it's, it's always being used in the same position every single time to lock it down and look at look at how they've managed to do this it goes right through the window if i'm not mistaken yeah yeah and uh and it, it, it takes away so much map control from them right? suddenly he's turned around to an sbe round it seems in control Oh yeah, they bleed managed to get the first pick, but then the, they end up losing these two players, which could be trouble for them. But scary! Oh my goodness, with the classic two tap. How how do you make that happen? That is so on point. But Jean on the back, so can find a second in as, as well. Yes, indeed, he will. One versus three for bleed to pull off. Can they though? They have the Astra, Fade, and Chamber on attack, which is going to make his life living hell in terms of getting these uh, picks and going in for the retake, but he still has three bullets available in the head headhunter, and that is all he needs for three kills, but can he connect those? That is the question. That's a lot of pressure. That also goes on to show that defense on Pearl, 
it can spread you thin in terms of holding the line but there we go scary being taken out by crazy guy will not let that slide will take down the season and take down jaw as well stuff from crazy guy to keep sure that archway is not given away towards the opponent and look at durian's push he's got a completely under control he knows that this is going to be an easy b hit an easy b defense but oh the double peak from poppy chulo along with the astro just get one kill they will be able to pick up that weapon as jh will take down poppy chulo actually towards mid and he's coming covered up for his teammate the spike is in his hands as well darion's lurk from mid from a actually makes it a lot more easier there's no stopping this man somebody needs to stop him well he's on top of heaven i'm not quite sure if they know this but he's got a good alpha angle gets off it right about on time he could have been the victim to a double peak, but good recovery. He goes out. What a brilliant flash! He's gonna find the start as well. Yes, he will. Darion's done more than enough for his team to cover up as JH will struggle, but he will still find the kill. Aretla. That's it. They fake that they're trying to sell once again. Not sure whatsoever, but that 24 is being taken out of the equation. Darion once again gets that pick absolutely on point. Not missing. Not missing a beat. Not missing a shot, but Aziz on the backstab. Right now, we'll quickly find a trade. Okay, oh, Not quick enough. Now the problem is. Oh, there